Ivan Katz here with my collection of Fender Mustang guitars and a couple related guitars as well. I'll get to those. Now I have a full video on the history of the Fender Mustang. Look for that elsewhere on YouTube. But I got a lot of comments saying, hey, play the guitars. So I'm going to play every single one of these guitars and that way we can all compare the sounds and uh, I'll talk a little bit about each guitar while I'm playing it. I'm going to use the Fender Mustang GT amp and you'll get a good idea of how these varied guitars sound all the way from mid-1960s Fender Mustangs to, like I said, some special guitars and all the way through to very modern guitars as well. Made all over in America, Indonesia, Basically, it runs the gamut. Have you smashed that like button and subscribed yet? I hope you have. Also, leave me a comment. But let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to play the exact same thing on every guitar. That way you'll get an idea and be able to compare the sounds and see how these cool guitars sound in general. Now, I'm starting with number one, number one for me. This is my first guitar and uh, no, I'm not that old. This was a used guitar, but it was made in 1975. A quick note about that. A lot of people say they stopped making the Competition Blue guitars after maybe 72, 73, but Fender actually had parts left over and they still made them. So this is a genuine 1975 Competition Blue Mustang. And when I got it, it was before that guy came out playing these and made them very famous. A lot of people played these through the 80s, um, alternate bands and things like that. But no, I'm not totally obsessed with Nirvana and Kurt Cobain. I love them. I think they're great. Uh, Kurt Cobain was an incredible artist. I'm not trying to say I'm super old or anything, but I had this Fender Mustang way before Nirvana ever came out. So there you have it. Now I'm using two sounds from my Fender Mustang GT. One is Jazz Clean, and the other one, a more distorted sound, is called Holds Worth. So there you go. All right, here we go. <laughs>
1975 Fender Mustang. On to the next one. Okay, a little later they started offering some different colors. And this one, man, is this thing ever clean. This is a 1978. And uh, it's kind of a mocha colored guitar with, of course, a black pick guard. But uh, very similar to the earlier ones. And uh, wow, just such a clean guitar. I bought it from the original owner. So here's this one. extraordinarily custom mid-60s Fender Mustang kind of combined with the Jaguar Jazzmaster controls. So this one has a lot going on. In fact, I have a separate review of this one elsewhere on YouTube. So check that one out. Uh, it was so custom and cool. I actually did a whole review on it, but uh, got this one a while back. I was lucky to find it and uh, I just think it's super, super cool. Let's hear how it sounds. the neck on this one so it plays kind of interesting uh, feels a little different but uh, the short scale neck I uh, love it I mean I really feel at home with these Fender Mustang guitars because that's what I learned to play on so many years ago so uh, they just feel great to me and this one is so unique <laughs> Thank you. 
matching headstock which is super super cool and uh, apparently this was a Dakota Red guitar and um, well they fade sometimes they all fade basically faded to orange and uh, this is sort of yellow looking so it's kind of a rusty orange color I just think it's super super cool fell in love with it 1970 love this thing so here is how it sounds <laughs> Okay, 2019 Sonic Blue, kind of a uh, gray, but uh, they call it Sonic Blue, I believe, and uh, very cool. Just a uh, very inexpensive Squire Mustang, and it is made in Indonesia. So there you go. Doesn't have the uh, phase switches here, but uh, it has the volume and tone, and then uh, that's how you switch between the pickups here. So. Here we go. <laughs> on this one and uh, the neck it is different than the earlier guitars certainly I think this is what they call their laurel neck or something like that but um, yeah it's a much lower end guitar than uh, the other ones I've been playing this one is the first kind of low end Fender Mustang but still it has the same shape it has the same basic feel 
and you know for the money you can't go wrong with this really really nice <laughs> Okay, continuing on with uh, another different uh, Fender Mustang. This one is made in Mexico, I believe in 2016. So all black and uh, again, no phase switches here, just the toggle between the uh, pickups and of course uh, both pickups. So uh, volume and tone and there you go. It's got a uh, very round kind of deeper C, I would say at least a medium C neck, kind of Strat-like, um, so different in that, of course, it's maple as well. I like maple necks because you can see them on stage and things like that a little bit better. I really bought this one to play on stage as well. Again, Mexican-made, so not as expensive, and uh, you don't mind uh, leaving it around the bar, perhaps. So... <laughs> Okay, and here we have the special Kurt Cobain edition Fender Mustang made in Japan and uh, really, really cool. I think very collectible and uh, pretty much identical to my Japanese Fender Mustang. These seem to be a little more shallow in here, but uh, a humbucker there. So some customization like uh, Kurt Cobain's and uh, I think uh, Courtney Love finally um, agreed to this and then they released them and so they're very collectible and uh, I'm happy to have one. So here we go. The Kurt Cobain Japanese reissue. Thank you. 
mid-60s and obviously it's been heavily modified as you can see the jack is in a different place and it's got this little toggle switch here it looks like the original pickup here but it's actually a fender lace sensor pickup and then a humbucker there so definitely custom uh, appears to be different tuners as well but the neck looks pretty early and uh, yeah it does appear to have the uh, mid 60s neck and body so uh definitely custom modified and uh hey with a fender mustang that's cool these are obviously not original to the switches tone and volume but anyway let's hear how it sounds <laughs> Thank you. 
special edition Fender Mustang Chicago Music Exchange and they made this color exclusively made in Indonesia and uh, it is a Squire Mustang but uh, competition blue white stripe white racing stripe kind of cool like the original um, Mustangs back then the GT350 uh, really really cool had to have it and uh, I think it's a great guitar, um, certainly to look at, and I think they did a good job with it. Let's find out by playing it. Thank you. 
sort of a seafoam green made in Indonesia Fender Esquire Mustang uh, 2017 dual humbuckers should be similar to the slate blue one back there uh, so let's see <laughs> Mustang, Duncan Diamond pickups, and not a short scale neck, I don't believe. Interesting kind of cream color with the tortoise shell pick guard, white switches here. Uh, everything looks kind of stock Fender Mustang, except the pickups. These tuners are a little different, and again, uh, I think longer neck and more of a C Fender type shape, really, and more polish than the other. Squire. So this is, I think, uh, really a step up. Let's hear how it sounds. <laughs>
Mustang with some very cool pickups here, uh, vintage humbuckers, and um, yeah, I think it's really, really cool. These guitars were white, I believe, and faded to yellow. That was very common back then, so this yellow color is kind of interesting. But um, again, check out my other Fender Mustang video with the history of the guitars. Have you smashed that like button and subscribed? I hope you have. All right, let's hear how this sounds. Thank you. 
Continuing on with my Fender Mustang collection, we're now getting to guitars that look like a Fender Mustang, but actually aren't. This is an indie custom guitar, and it says like, it's like a prototype. I think it might be the first one. Orange and black, pretty cool. Humbucker and single coil. Very much like a Fender Mustang, hardtail, but um, you know, you got this toggle switch here. These knobs look identical. Um, and uh, the neck is similar. Everything's really similar, but uh, indie customs. Let's hear how it sounds. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
of a strange one, IYV or IV, Fender Mustang kind of clone, maybe a duo sonic, but um, a little customized with this uh, bright pickguard material and uh, similar to a Mustang, it's got the same phase switches, different knobs, but tone volume, single coils and a whammy bar as well. So. Uh, yeah, very kitschy cool, and uh, well, it's down a string, but uh, let's hear how it sounds anyway. <laughs> is this Gibson Kalamazoo. Yup, they made a copy of the Mustang because it was selling so well. This is really a Music Master copy, I guess, because it has one pickup. But uh, there you go. Pretty cool, all white and very vintage from the 60s, I believe. So let's hear how it sounds. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so there you go, 14 Fender Mustang guitars in my collection, and uh, if you want to see my whole collection, well, kind of a recent version of it, check out my original video for Free Your Mind. It's got uh, most of my musical instrument collection in it, and also some of my car collection too. If you like cars, check out my Drive and Ivan car videos, car reviews. Have you smashed that like button? I sure hope you have, and subscribe. Check out all of my channels, Ivan Cats Productions, and Drive and Ivan Cats. Also, Drive and Ivan Cats, leave out the G on Instagram, The Real Drive and Ivan on TikTok. And check out all my other videos on my Ink Video channel where I just play songs. And also, Ivan Cats Productions, I have lots of documentaries, guitar reviews. Many of the guitars you saw today I review also, and don't forget about that Fender Mustang history video that I have also elsewhere on YouTube. And please do let me know what you think of these guitars in the comments, share my videos with your friends, and thank you very much for watching. I'm Ivan Katz. <laughs>